I thought I was gonna have a fun helper today, but I'm looking around and I don't see anybody coming and it's really time for, for us to start. Uh, I just don't know. Well, I could get really upset about this, but, um, cause it really does bother me when I'm supposed to have help and they're not here. Or I could just take a minute, put myself in their shoes. <laughs> Whoa, I hear someone like calling me. I'm coming! Whoa. I'm coming! I think that's that's definitely Phyllis, my helper today. <gasps> they did make it. Miss Mariah, I am so sorry. I'm late. I wanted to be here on time, but on the way here, I got a flat tire and it was awful. Okay? Thankfully, someone stopped, showed me some compassion, and my new tire is on. Oh my gosh, that sounds super stressful. I'm glad I didn't get mad either. What? Um, um... Nothing. I'm just saying that I, I didn't get, uh, you know, worked up. I knew that you were coming. Um, so nothing, nothing. Just just, uh, just telling the jammers about our topic today. I haven't even looked at our topic yet. So what is Jam Online about today? Well, it is actually all about compassion. Whoa! How crazy! It's like God knew I was coming here today and put compassion in that man's heart, and he helped me with my tire. God knows all, so you must be right. Well, before we start our jam online, we do have to do our repeat prayer. Yep, and I think you should lead today because me and the jammers at home will repeat after you. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Let's talk to Jesus. Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Please help me to notice when people are hurting. Please help me to notice when people are hurting. And show me how to share your love with them. And show me how to share your love with them. Thank you for showing me mercy every day. Thank you. For showing me mercy every day. Please help me to be merciful to others. Please help me to be merciful to others. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Well, before we start our Bible stories and our verses, I think it's really important to think about the word compassion. What do we think that word means? Well, what do you think? Kiddos, when you hear compassion, what comes to mind? I think I have heard some really awesome answers. Me too. I heard compassion is like being nice. Yeah, I heard that one too. And I think they are right. It's a lot like being nice. I also heard someone in the back. Say, compassion was like love. Ooh, I really liked that answer. When we are compassionate, we are showing love. That's very true. I also heard someone over there mm. say that compassion was like mercy. Wow. They must have a good vocabulary. <laughs> You're right. They do. Mercy and compassion are definitely similar. We're going to see that today, Jesus wants us to show compassion by helping others and being nice, by loving others, and even by showing mercy. Um, so, like, why does Jesus want us to do that? Well, that's a really good question, Phyllis. Jesus wants us to do those things because he did those things. And God is all of those things. Psalm 145 says, The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. So, because God loves, we love. Because God shows mercy, 
We show mercy. Yep, you got it. Our goal in life is to be as much like Jesus as we can. And that means doing what he did. Well, well, what did Jesus do? <gasps> That's a good question. Jesus helped the poor. He healed the sick. He took care of those who were hurting. He fed others, prayed with people. I mean, the list could just go on and on and on. Wow. Jesus did all of that for everyone? Yes. Jesus helped men, women, children, people that looked like him, even those who didn't look like him. And the Bible tells us that Jesus had compassion for all people. And we know that Jesus was concerned about those who were sick and hurting because he healed those people who were blind, crippled, unable to speak. Jesus was also concerned about people's physical needs. Um, people who like weren't weren't doing well physically. <gasps> Ooh, like in Matthew 15. <gasps> yes, exactly. In this story, Jesus told his disciples that he was concerned that people had not eaten for a really long time and that they may collapse on their way home. So he fed them before he sent them home. Jesus was also concerned about people's spiritual needs, too. He saw that people were like sheep, but without a shepherd. <gasps> wow, that is great thinking. You're absolutely right. See, Jesus looked after people's spiritual needs by teaching them. We see in Mark, where Mark says, He began to teach them many things. And although we don't know exactly what he taught them, based on what Jesus said everywhere else in the Bible, we can guess that he was likely telling them about God's amazing love, eternal life, and the importance of loving and obeying God, and of course, of loving each other. So, Jesus probably taught about compassion too. <laughs> yes, you bet he did. I know. I read once in Zechariah, I think like chapter 7-ish, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe verse 9. Mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord of hosts, render true judgments, show kindness and mercy to one another. And after talking with you, I see that the verse is telling me to show kindness and mercy because that's what Jesus did. You are so right. Yes, exactly. We should do those things because it honors God. And by doing those things, we are loving the people around us. Sometimes, though, it's hard to love or show compassion. I mean, sometimes I have stuff going on in my life, and it's hard to put myself in their shoes. Well, Phyllis, you're absolutely right. It can be challenging to put ourselves in someone else's places or in someone else's shoes or to think about what is happening from their point of view. I mean, like, when I see someone who is asking for money or food, sometimes I feel embarrassed or shy and I avoid looking at them. Or I'm in such a rush and I'm so busy with my life, I don't have time to deal with them. I understand, but Jesus would have stopped. He would have helped, and so should we. Okay, okay, Miss Mariah, but how can I help? Well, I mean, there's lots of ways. That could mean giving money or food or clothing. It could mean all kinds of things like... Um, waving or maybe smiling and letting that person know that you see them and that they matter. It could also mean praying with that person or praying for that person. Oh, I see. I can do some of those things. First Peter 3, 8 tells us, finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Another example of how we are to help each other and be generous and compassionate. Yes, because God wants us to find joy in sharing what we have with others, especially with those who have very little. When we show compassion and kindness through giving to the poor, God notices and it pleases him. Well, I like the idea of helping others. I also 
love the idea of pleasing God. Well, by being compassionate, you are doing just that. Awesome! So exciting! You know what else is exciting, Miss Mariah? What? It's time for our I Say, You Say. You are right! Do you want to leave? <gasps> you bet I do. Okay, so remember kiddos, I will lead and you and Miss Mariah will repeat after me. Okay, all right, are we ready? I think we're ready. Okay. I will try and show compassion. I will try and show compassion. When I show compassion, I am thinking of others. When I show compassion, I am thinking of others. You never know what people are going through. You never know what people are going through. So I will be like Jesus. So I will be like Jesus. I will walk in their shoes before judging. I will walk in their shoes before judging. And I will choose to love. And I will choose to love. Yay! Before we talk about our craft today, can I share a verse? <gasps> sure you can, Phyllis. We would love that. Okay, so it comes from Psalms and it says, But you, O Lord, are a God of merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. I think it's a good verse today because we are learning to be more like Christ. And even though we can do that by being compassionate, we can also do it by showing mercy and being slow to anger, being faithful and showing love. I am stunned. That was truly inspiring, Phyllis. You are so right. In Psalm 145, it says something very, very yeah. similar. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. So if it's in the Bible once, it's important. But two oh. times, it must be really important. <laughs> you are right. So for our craft today, we are going to think more about walking in someone else's shoes. That means thinking of what their life is like and how it may be different from your own. You're right. So for our craft, we are going to be filling in our very own <gasps> shoes. You're going to see questions about your favorite foods, favorite things to do, and so much more. And what you're going to do, you'll fill it all in and even color it, make it yours. Make the shoes look exactly like maybe something you would wear. <sighs> then what? Well, then our friendly grown-ups are going to take pictures of your shoes and post them in our Jam Facebook group. Okay, um, and they'll just post it right under today's Jam Online post. And the goal will be that we'll have all these different pictures of these different shoes. So the jammers can then look at these yeah. pictures and see what someone else's life is oh. like. I get it. By looking at the pictures of all the other shoes, they're kind of walking in their shoes. Exactly. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, before we go, can you tell me what you think the most important thing is that you learned today? <sighs> oh, man. I can only choose one? Oh, I learned a lot. Um, well, I learned that the Bible tells us that whatever acts of kindness we do for anyone else, as though we, do, we would have done it for Jesus... And that when we care for those in need, we honor God. I love it. Don't y'all love it, kiddos? Yeah. Well, today has been fabulous. I hope that we all show a little bit more compassion uh, to the people around us. Yeah, I know. I will. Well, let's end today with a prayer, and then we can all start working on our craft. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, let's pray. God, 
With the coming of each new day, I experience your faithfulness, love, and kindness. Thank you for being a God of endless grace and tender mercy. I ask you to help me see and love others as you do. I want to have a compassionate and merciful heart. Let us recognize the mercy you extend to us daily and in turn remind us to be quick to offer grace and forgiveness to others. Amen. I had so much fun today with you and the jammers, but I can't wait to start my craft. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. But let's first say bye so we can get started. Yay! Okay. Bye, kiddo. Bye, jammers. Thanks bye. for jamming with us.